Jackie or Nerdy Crafter. Dinosaurs are technically pretty terrifying, but put anything into chibi mode and they suddenly are not. And so for this week, I wanted to show you guys how to make your very own chibi dinosaur pencil sharpener. It might have very sharp teeth, but it's actually pretty harmless. I absolutely love the way that the pencil shavings come up in the mouth, so that way you can keep the mess until you find a garbage bin. Of course, you don't have to make it as a dinosaur, you can change it to a monster, or even your favorite Pokemon. This week's video is a collaboration with Roxy from Budget Hobby, and she made these adorable Pokemon-themed school supplies. So make sure you check out her video and her channel and subscribe while you're there. She has so many cute, unique ideas, and I love her channel, so give her much, much love. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. All the dweebs are doing it. Here's what you'll need for this project. Polymer clay colors of your choice. I'm using Sculpey's So 80s and Robin's Egg. Rounded pointy tool and a cutter. A fully metal pencil sharpener and acrylic paint. The first thing we're going to do is make a mouth shape around the pencil sharpener as our base. Now smooth the pieces together until you get something that looks like this. Now remove the clay that is hiding the circle on top with your cutter. Now cut off triangles from the side of the mouth to make it look like the mouth is open. And you're going to shape it so that the bottom part of the mouth is slightly angled upwards to catch the pencil shavings. Add teeth by cutting a strip of white clay then making zigzags. If you have liquid Sculpey, go ahead and use it to make the bonding much stronger. Now we're going to bake this base for 10 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure that your oven is always preheated. Once it's baked, this is where we can start building the shape that we want. I wanted to make a chibi dinosaur, so I added clay all around my base to make it an oval-ish body. It's important to smooth all the pieces together so it looks like the base was always part of the bigger piece. Once you're happy with the shape, now you can start adding details. Roll a snake with your clay for the tail and stick it close to the body to avoid any kind of breaking later on. Make the thighs by rolling a piece of clay and lightly flattening it with your finger. Then the foot by making a teardrop shape and cutting a V for the toes. So far, so good. Now flatten another color of clay for the underbelly and undertail. Make lines or hearts with your cutter. For the arms, make two little chubby snakes and cut slits to look like little fingers. And place them on the body. Of course, use liquid Sculpey if you have any. Make a small horn or spike and add it on top. If you want to add an inner mouth, Go ahead and do that with black and red clay. Now you're going to bake your piece for 30 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're new to clay, be sure to watch my polymer clay tips video in the description box below. Once it's out of the oven, paint on the eyes however way you like. Feel free to glaze it to seal the paint and make it shiny. All done! Remember to check out Roxy's video and her channel and subscribe while you're there. There are lots of projects to keep you busy. Don't forget to add me on Instagram because I'm there quite often. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And before I let you guys go, let me show you what I got in one up box. The first thing that caught my attention is the Arkham Knight vinyl figure. They love putting vinyl figures in their boxes, which is really cool because it does compensate, of course, for a good part of the box. This is really cool. So I hadn't taken a look at this t-shirt, but we have Mario, that is the Joker kind of puppeteering. We have Bowser, Peach, Luigi, and I believe this is, why did I forget her name? Uh, I forgot her name, I don't know why. So her name is probably going to come to me, but I totally forgot for some reason. It bothers me now. And then a really cool air freshener. I wonder what scent this is. So it's kind of, it kind of smells pretty citrusy. This is really neat. And then there's a dog tag, and I'm not familiar with this series, unfortunately. I'll have to look in the booklet. I want a box pin. And lastly, this adorable print of Rocket. 
<laughs> and Groot, I think it was Rocket. I don't know why I'm forgetting names today, but there we go. This is a really cute print. I just wish that the prints they sent were not bent in half because now there's just no way I can frame this or save it because the fold has just kind of eaten through, unfortunately. But this is a really cute print and I absolutely love it. I just wish it wasn't damaged right in the middle. If you want information on Wanna Box, I will leave it in the description box below. I am not affiliated either. Until then, I will see you guys next week.